and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic today, Psalm 41. Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in times of trouble. The Lord will protect him and preserve his life. He will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. As we do to others, God will do to us. If we are kind to the lowly, if we are kind to the weak, to the poor. If we take good care of them, then God will take good care of us who are poor and weak in His sight. I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, When will he die and his name perish? Whenever one comes to see me, he speaks falsely while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it abroad. Have you ever seen that in your life or demonstrated in others? People going someplace and putting on an act like they're their friend, you know, ooh, that's so nice, and oh, that's nice, and oh, I'm your friend. But in their heart, they're looking for things that they can spread, malice, and maybe things they can take. <laughs> looking around, what can I take? What is there here? Yes, they speak falsely while the heart gathers slander. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, A vile disease has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. People gather around the righteous. They don't really like them because their righteous lives make the wicked look what they are, wicked. Even my close friend whom I trusted, he who shared my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. In the case of Jesus, that was Judas. But each one of us can also experience the same thing. People we trusted, people we gave food to, people we gave and loved, they have turned against us. How easy it is to change sides, isn't it? Depending as to who's got the greater authority, the greater money, but a true Christian is as set as the needle on a compass, constantly pointing north. No matter which way the compass is turned, the needle will always point north. In our lives, no matter which way the world turns, no matter what's going on, we need to be true, very true to Jesus. But you, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up that I may repay them. Ah, raise me up that I may repay them. And how would David repay them? Well, when Saul turned against David and was out to kill him, how did David, how did David repay him? David loved him. David refused to lift his hand against him. The Bible says that we are to do good to the enemy. We're to feed him, give him drink. So here, raise me up that I may repay them. David would do good for them. In our own lives, what kind of repaying are we doing to those that have treated us bad? I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you uphold me, 
and set me in your presence forever. I have found that true in my life. God has not allowed the enemy to triumph over me. He has blessed me beyond measure. That's why I serve the Lord. Not for the blessings, I serve the Lord because it is my duty. I love the Lord for what he did for me, you know, opening up the way of salvation. Therefore, I want to be obedient to him and serve him all my life. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Let us praise the Lord today. Let us be good to our enemies. Let us rise up and treat them as Jesus would. Let us show that we will not repay in kind, but repay in kindness. Be with us, O Lord, as we be with others. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ Prison Ministry for another video Bible study.